One of the things that we've mentioned in other videos is the fact that we load a lot of your price files into the system automatically or you have the ability to load them in yourself using the, the import price file functions that are built into Lizzie. The problem with doing that though is that if you need or you want to change the prices to your customers either up or down it causes a problem because as soon as you turn around and import a new price file all of your prices that you had changed have now been updated with the latest MSRP and we have to go back and start the whole process again. So one of the things that we've done to allow you to handle these situations without actually changing any prices at all is to set up a price matrix. So right now we're in inventory and we've selected the price matrix option and we're going to select a manufacturer that we want to actually set up a, a price matrix for. Now you have the ability to enter as many price matrices as you want, but by default you're going to have a default retail, a default internet, and a default catalog. Those matrices will be used anytime that you have not specifically set a matrix for a customer. So, for example, if you set up a internet uh, on an internet order, you set up an internet matrix. Then what you're saying is, is that if I don't know this customer, this is the matrix that I want to use with them. And the same thing for a, a retail would be somebody coming in over the counter. If I don't know them, this is the chart. This is the price I'm going to charge them. If I do know them and I have specified a specific matrix for them, then that's what I want to use. So right now we're going to select the default matrix. Now we do have the ability to go even farther. So instead of setting up a matrix for the whole vendor, I can actually drill in and give different matrices for batteries versus bearings versus belts. Um, and you actually have the ability to add and create as many different categories as you want. So you do have the ability to, to drill in farther if you want to. Now, what we're going to do once we get to the, the vendor and the matrix level that we want to have, we're just going to come in and tell it whether we're going to work off of list or we're going to work off of cost. And if we work off cost, are we going to use a markup over that cost or are we going to use a gross margin? And then we can tell it if it's under a dollar, then go ahead and round it up to a dollar. Or we can round up to even nickels, dimes, quarters, or dollars here, or 99 cents. Now, to set up the matrix itself, all you're going to do is give it a price range. So we're just going to come in and say from one penny to $10, we're going to mark it up this percentage. From 1001 to 25, we're going to do this percentage. And what Lizzie does is whenever you put a part on an invoice or you check a price from the invoice, Lizzie is always applying the matrix to that price so that you're giving the customer the correct price. So the last thing you want to do with a customer in the event that you use matrixes is to go to the inventory section to look up a price because it will always show you the MSRP. Matrix levels do not apply to the inventory section. So in order to get a price for a customer, we're actually going to go over here to invoicing and we have a check item price control and this control will allow me to choose the matrix level and it'll go out and find the part, give me the current inventory information, any supersession cross-reference, all that stuff will show on here, but it will have applied that matrix to the, the invoice or to this price when it comes up. So again, if you use matrixes, do not go into the inventory section to give a customer a price because you will give, be giving them the wrong price. Now, once you get the matrix set up for the individual vendors, the next thing that we want to do is come over here to, to contacts and we'll view the, the current contact or you can locate a contact and you'll notice a, a menu here for assign price matrix. So I'm going to come in here and select that option and we're going to select the matrix that we want to apply. You can see here they already have a gold matrix that is applied. We're going to be a little bit more uh, detailed here. We're going to set up a default, or let, I'll tell you what, let's set up a silver matrix for them only for uh, Articat. And I can even drill into another category. And let's say that we give away, when a, when a customer purchases a unit from us, we give them 30 days of a special silver 
uh, price matrix, which is 10% off of retail so that they'll come back in for a period of 30 days. So we can actually give it an expiration date and Lizzie will expire that at the end of that 30 days. So I don't have to worry about it. I just go in, set it up. They take advantage of it. And then at the end of the 30 days, Lizzie will automatically expire it and it'll no longer be effective. So once you've set this the way you want it, you just select the plus sign here. And now you have a specific matrix set up for that customer and that particular manufacturer. So again, Step one is to set up the matrix, select the vendors or categories if you want to do that, and then decide what customers are going to be able to take advantage of each of the matrix levels that you have created.